so as far as like the general environment of, of the of the area, like the weather and things like that, um, I, you know, it gets hot in the summer and you know cold and snowy in the winter. So a pretty uh, pretty general. Um, it got kind of too hot for me sometimes because I'm used to cold being from Minnesota. So I love the snow and everything. So I'm um, nothing too crazy there. Like no, not not really any like I don't remember any sandstorms or anything like that. Um, uh, rainstorms definitely. Um, so, so definitely in the city areas like Holbrook, Arizona or Gallup, New Mexico or Durango, Colorado, um, nothing too crazy uh, out there. Just kind of like typical, you know, cities or suburban areas, stuff like that. Um, if you were to kind of go uh, further away from the cities, though, like in the reservation areas, um, besides the highways, all the roads are dirt. Uh, there's no um, there's no signs out there. Um, we almost all had trucks. We almost all had these Chevy Colorados out there, which we needed uh, for out there to get to the to get to these you know little clusters of trailers and hogans just like dotted around the desert landscape. Um, if it gets if it's a really rainy day, um, I was always very cautious because because uh, because the the uh, the dirt roads were you know nothing but dirt and rock. So if it gets wet. I think it's very slippery, and so I do remember it was definitely a few days where my companion would be driving and we'd almost be going sideways, kind of sliding down the road because the road kind of looked and felt like pudding, kind of a thing. So there were lots. Um, um, so the truck got very, very dirty a lot. We had to wash the, the truck a lot. Um, so I would definitely say that's something to look out for if you're going out into more remote areas. Um, just um, because you definitely do need to drive, you know, things are just so spread out out there. But um, uh, if but if it gets wet out there, then um, that that's challenging. It's possible. Like we we've been able to manage pretty well, but there were just some moments where I got really really nervous, and thankfully no accidents happened because of the wet weather and everything. I can definitely say that it was weird for me to be like my companion and I being among the only people with for miles around to wear white shirts and ties out in the desert. Um, like especially doing, you know, st stuff like, you know, visiting trailer trailers and, you know, Hogan's and of course no one else is dressed up around there. So, um, but, uh, so I definitely, I definitely avoided, you know, wearing like a full on suit outside, you know, like often just like, short sleeve white shirts were, were fine and uh, ties. So I, of course, I always had missionary attire, but sometimes it did feel, I did feel a little out of place, but at least we stuck out like a sore thumb. People knew who we were. We, we were the missionaries. We were the guys with black tags and people waved at us, um, you know, greeted us warmly. So, um, but yeah, d definitely be prepared for a lot of dirt and dust, no matter where you are, even if you're in a city area or whatever. Um, uh, some dirt looks nicer than others. Some has a nice reddish kind of, you know, beautiful reddish pinkish color. Others just have normal, just dirt, whatever. Doesn't look good on anything.